Welcome back. I am Akhileshwari. Uh, in today's video, let us learn how to calculate the previous YTD values. Means, for today, uh, as of today, June 6, 7, 2021, YTD is considered as January 1, 2021 to June 7, 2021. If you want to compare the same period from the previous year, means 1st January 2020 to 7th June 2020. Nothing but previous YTD values. Let us write a measure to calculate the previous amounts and compare the YTD values across two consecutive years. Let us write a measure to calculate the sum of payments for the previous year. Sum of sales this year equals, I'm using calculate function and as an expression, I'm calling our sum of sales. Sum of sales is just summing up the pay amount column. I'm just calling that measure. Instead of writing the same expression, I'm just reusing it. And now I'm filtering this data for previous year. To get the, to go back to, to go back and compare last year, we have a function date add using which we can uh, mention a specific interval and move the dates. I'm adding, I'm using date add, and I want to subtract from the calendar dates, minus one. I just want to go back to previous year for the same period. One is an year, so I'm just mentioning the year. Currently, I'm just getting sum of sales for the previous year and I have to calculate this based on YTD. So let us add one more measure. YTD total sales previous, previous year. So, calculate, I'm calling sum of pre sales previous years as in my expression, comma, I'm filtering my calendar for YTD days. It will be very easy if you filter your calendar table for respective time periods. There can be a YTD, Q, QTD, WTD, any with respect to uh, any time period. It's easy if you can filter the dates in the calendar table and just filter the, uh, filter the ca entire calendar table using that column and get the values. You can switch among different years to compare in your visual. So let us add a card and select this YTD total sales previous year. Okay, let us validate the data. For the previous year, means 2020. Jan, February, March, April, May, June. Okay, let me edit interactions and close interactions. I'm just blocking the interaction for the calendar selection and our YTD and uh, previous YTD values. Here you can see this is a 2020 sales. The total sales is 1076 minus because I need to consider only till 
June 7th, which is being considered in this measure, means I should subtract this one ton. See, 966. If you, can, if you don't want to manually calculate and check, you can add one more filter week. Calendar year week number. And it will be easy for you to select weeks. See, 966. So we are achieving to get the YTD values for the current year and for the previous year. Hope it's very useful. Thank you.